Welcome to Model Lessons in Mathematics, Elementary Science and Technology, Social Studies, Creative Arts, Physical Education for Lower Primary Grades, produced by Rwanda Education Board in collaboration with the World Bank. My name is Teacher Jane, and I'm here to teach Primary 2, Elementary Science and Technology. And our unit of the day, that is Unit 8, it's about human sensory organs. Human sensory organs. And the lesson we have today, lesson 1, you see, sensory organs. Sensory organs, these are organs which are found on our bodies. They are part of the bodies. But they help us to detect sound, to identify different objects, to taste different flavors, and so on. They are one of the parts of the body. They are found on our bodies. But they help us to identify different things, to detect sound of different things, and to get tests of different things. They are the sensory organs. And we have got five sensory organs. They are five. They are five. You have five senses. I have five senses. You have five senses. I have five senses. Eyes. These eyes, they are one of the sensory organs. The eyes. You have the eyes, I have the eyes. The nose, it's a sensory organ and it's a part of the body. This nose, it's a sensory organ. You have it, I have it. The ears, they are also sensory organs. You have them, I have them. The ears. The tongue, the tongue, it's a sensory organ. You have it, I have it. Then the skin, this is skin, the skin, it's a sensory organ. You have it, I also have it. So you have five senses, I have five senses. Eyes to see, this is a, this is a sensory organ. So they are sensory organs. Nose to smell, ears to hear, tongue to taste, and skin to feel. So those are the sensory organs. You have five, I have five. Sensory organs. are one of the parts of the body which help us to detect sound Identify different objects, different objects, and test of different different things plus the smell. We are able to tell the smell of different things using the sensory organs. We are able to know the taste of different things using the sensory organs. We are able to detect sound using the sensory organs. So they are five. They help us to detect sound, to identify different objects, 
to test, to have taste of different things and the smell of different things. So these are the sensory organs. They are here. They are one of the body parts. We have the ear. If it is one, ear, ear, it's one. When they are two, they are ears. We have the eye, this one. When it's one. When they are two, they are eyes. We have the nose, this one. We have the skin, sorova, the skin. Then we have the tongue. These are the sensory organs. We have said they help us to detect sound. When you get and you make sound like this, or I clap the hands like this, or I make noise, Someone who is around will know that there is noise coming from that direction. So here, with this, or clapping of the hands like this, or making noise, calling someone, talking, or listening, it can be to a radio there. Which sensory organ will help us to detect that sound? Can you tell us which one is going to help you to detect that there is sound in a certain direction? It's the ear. You hear the noise which has been made or the sound which has been made. You use the ears, these ears. They help us to detect sound, to know which dilation the sound is coming from. Then we have different edibles here. What are these? These are yellow bananas. Yellow bananas or sweet bananas. What will help me to know that there are bananas, yellow bananas in a room without seeing them. When I've not seen them, and I just enter the room like this, what will help me to know that there are bananas in that room? Uh-huh. You are going to use the nose. You start doing like this. Hmm? Looking for that place where they are. You are going to use your nose. They will help, this, this, this one will help you to get where those yellow bananas are without seeing them. Once you enter like this, you start doing like this. That's one. Then, how will I know whether these bananas have a good taste or a sour taste or a bitter taste? How will I know? What will I use? Which sensory organ will I use? I'll get it. I remove the peelings. Then I will test. I'll get a bite. Then after taking, I'll know, hey, it's sweet. So the tongue, this tongue, will help me to know that these bananas are sweet. With these, these are what? They are also, they are called sweets. But what is going to help me to know that these sweets taste good? I'll use my tongue. I'll use the tongue. And then I say, hmm, it's yummy. I'll use the tongue. Now, we have here red pepper. Have you ever tested it? Have you ever tested it? Uh-huh. What will help you to know the taste of the, the red peppers here or chili? Some people call it chili. 
What will help you? Still, it will be the tongue. Tongue. It helps us to taste, to have taste of different edibles. Different edibles. Then we have here, we have here herbal medicine. Have you ever tasted the herbal medicine? When you, you, you were sick? Uh-huh. How did you feel? Was it sweet? Okay. It was not sweet. So this one, this herbal medicine, once you have high fever and they squeeze it with water and they give it to you, you come to know the taste of it using the tongue. This tongue has got what we call taste buds. They help us to know the taste. We have here the alveolar here. Also, when you look at it like this, you don't know its taste. But you try to put it on your tongue like this. Is it sweet? You tasted it. Was it sweet? No. It was sour. It was sour. So it's the tongue which helps us to know the taste of things. We have this also. It's a what? It's a lemon. Very good. When you see it like this, you can't know its taste. But you use your tongue. You come to know that it is sour. It is sour. And I know you don't like it, young children, but it's good for your health. So the tongue helps us to know the taste of different things. Then we have this. Do you know it? Your mom has it at home. It has a different type. Okay, that's good. This one here, suppose you, someone presses like this and you bypass that person. What will help you to know what that person smeared on his body? You will do like this. Hmm, it has a good scent. So the nose helps us to know scents of different things. The perfumes, these ones are called perfumes. It is the nose, which will help you to know the scent of that perfume. And you tell your neighbor that, eh, you have a good perfume, it has a good scent. What's its name? Maybe you also want to buy that, that one because you have had that scent it has. But what is the name of that perfume you have? Put on your body. Then he will tell you the name. You will use the nose. We have these flowers. These flowers here, they have also good scent. So if I want to know the scent of this flower, this flower is different from this flower. So what will I use? Can you tell me? Uh-huh. I'll bring it closer to my, to my, to my nose, and I'll do like this. Hmm. It has a good scent. Also this one. Mmm, it has a good scent. Did you know these perfumes, they are made from flowers? Did you know that? They are made from flowers. They make these perfumes from flowers. So you smell and you come to know the scent it has. Mmm. Mmm. So the... We have seen the nose helps us to smell. They can cook at home and you start feeling that aroma of what they have cooked, even without going in the kitchen to check. But you can easily tell that mm, mm, today they have prepared rice. Mm, they have prepared meat. Me are hearing that aroma, smelling that aroma. You come to know that it's meat or it's rice. So the nose helps us to smell different things. Those ones which have good scent, 
those ones which have good aroma, like the food. Then the tongue helps us to taste. You can't know the taste of the edible, like these yellow bananas, until you taste them. That's when you come to know that they are sweet. Then you have the ears. Ears helps us to hear the sound, to detect sound, where it is coming from. Then we have the eyes. Eyes helps us to see. Then we have the skin. How will I know? How will I know that that water is cold or that water is hot? How will I feel that pain? I'll feel that pain when I've, I've been pinched or someone has touched me. Then I will feel. So we use the skin to feel. The skin to feel helps us to Feel the coldness, the hotness, pain. Hmm? You can be there, and then all of a sudden the weather changes, and then we start saying that, eh, let me get a coat. Why do you ask for that coat? Because you have felt that it is cold. It is cold. Oh, you can be there, and the weather changes, and then you say that, let me put off my coat when you have felt hot. So the skin helps us to feel, helps us to feel. Remember we have said sensory organs are part of the body. They are part of the body and they help us to detect sound, to identify different things. How will I know that this one has a blue color? I will use my eyes and then I will know that, hey, this is blue, this is yellow. This is orange. I'll use my eyes. How will I know that someone is tall, fat, thin, short? I'll look at that person like this and I, yeah, then I identify. I come to identify that person or an object. So these sensory organs are part of the body. You have Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, eyes, ears, nose and mouth. Inside the mouth, there are the teeth, and then there is the sensory organ. Which sensory organ is in your mouth? Tell us. It's the tongue. Very good. You are like this. Now, I want you to do for me this work, okay? Here is our exercise. Exercise. So I'm going to match. Match correctly. Correctly. This side, we have the words, eyes, ears, Tongue, skin, nose. And then this side we have the diagrams. We have the diagrams. We have this. This one here. This one here. This one here. Then we have these. This one's it. Then we have these ones here. These ones here. Then we have this. This one here. And then we have this.
you are going to march correctly. You match the picture to its name, okay? Yes, and make sure you write properly. Good. That's good. People are busy doing their work, which is good. Make sure you write properly. Write properly. Uh -huh. People have started finishing, which is good. Remember to underline with Alula. Remember to write properly. And you have to make sure that you do proper checkup of these sensory organs. You have to go to the doctor to check so that they are in proper use, in proper condition. You have to do checkups, okay? Yeah. Very good. People have finished. Very good. Now, here. I have here. You are going to help me. We have the sense organs here. You are going to help me to pick for me, to choose which sensory organ is going to help me to know the taste of the banana. Come and show us which sensory organ is that. Hi. You are going to choose from this one, which is going to help us to know how sweet the banana is. Uh-huh. Show us. You are wonderful. It's the tongue. I love you. It's the tongue. Which one will help me to know that the perfume someone has put on his body has a good scent? Choose it. It's the what? Uh -huh. You are good. It's the nose. What about when you hear an alarm, you hear noise? Which one will help you to detect that noise? Choose from those sensory organs and tell us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's the ear, it's the ear. You are very good. You are very good. So we have the homework of the day. It's here. Our homework is here. Draw these sensory organs. Let us read them together. A, nose. B, ears. C, eyes. D, tongue. E, skin. You draw. And remember, I want big diagrams. And after writing A, nose, count one, two, three, four lines. You write B. After writing B, count again four lines. One, two, three, four. You write C, okay? The same here, you count four. One, two, three, four. That space you are leaving is where you will draw when you reach home, okay? That's good. Copy properly. Once you finish, you keep your book. Okay. People are busy copying. So make sure that always you look after your sensory organs. You have to prevent them from different accidents. Okay? Very good. Copy. Uh -huh. People are finished. And they are keeping their books in their bag, which is good. Today we have seen the sensory organs, which help us to detect sound, differentiate different objects, taste of different things, feel different things. Those ones are called sensory organs, and they are part of the body, okay? Even you tell your brother who is at home. That is the lesson of the day. Make sure when you reach home, 
you remember to do your homework and you keep your book in the bag so that you bring it the next day for marking. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.